baseball fans and welcome. The show presents the National League Division Series. It's the New York Mets taking on the San Francisco Giants. John Shabby and Chris Singleton with you. A lot going on in this series as we get ready for game three, Singy. Man, it's been fun so far, Boog, that's for sure. After splitting the first two, game three takes on even more meaning than usual. You don't want to be the team that drops this one and then be faced with having to win two games in a row in order to take the series. That's tough. And yeah, the pressure on the starting pitchers is big in this one. Each of them is being counted on to come through with a quality performance hoping to save some of that bullpen for really critical games coming up. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Now batting Steven Duggar. Up next to the line. The center fielder, Steven Duggar. The pitch. Gets the bunt down the right side. Alonso. And he beats the throw very close right there. This couldn't have played out any better on offense. They were trying to trade it out to move the runner into scoring position, but instead, they just couldn't make the play on defense. You really need to get it out there. Up to the plate is Brandon Belt. That one fouled off. you one. And fouled off. And the righty deals. And a swing and a miss. One out. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on. Next offering is in for a strike. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Ripped to third and picked on a hop. Goes to second for one. Over to Alonzo. Double play. Poetry in motion there as the second baseman turns the double play. Nice throw to first. And that's the way to end the inning. Here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the seventh. Here's Pete Alonso. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. The pitch. And a breaking ball catches the corner at the knees. Well, when you come off a tough one-run loss in the postseason, you'll be looking back at the opportunities that you missed in the previous game and make sure that you don't miss them in this one. At the belt and fires. And another ball. Now you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. 2 1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. And a foul ball. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. pitch stays alive just missed if he's able to connect on that look out next pitch just misses and that's ball three kicks and deals and that one is lifted in the air Duggar settles under it and puts the squeeze on that. One down. Now Here's Mark Canna. The left fielder. Mark Canna. Rodon back to work. Strike one. And ball one. The 1-1. And that's downstairs and outside. 
Out to center. Two away down. Here's the third baseman, Eduardo Escobar, one for two. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. First offering, and it just misses. Next pitch is downstairs. And now the lefty, and he pumps it a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. That one ripped. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. He put a very nice swing on that pitch right there. Got one to drive and just kept it fair down that right field line and into the corner. And it's almost impossible to track those down as an outfielder. Now it's J.D. Davis and a pitch. Now one missed. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. And a pitch. There's a strike. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Next pitch misses inside. Two and one. Struggled a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2 0. Yastrzemski on the move to his right, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And the inning is over. Met strand one, still no score. Back here at Oracle Park, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the shortstop at the play. Brandon Crawford. Singh, you talked about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. But why to kick the pitch? Got him. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Tommy Listella to the plate. Number eight, second baseman. Tommy the pitch. Listella. Foul ball there. Here's your one. To the right side. Steps on first for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one misses, and it's two and one. In the air, left side. Canna makes the catch, and that'll do it. Nothing doing there for San Francisco, and we're still knotted at zero. Welcome back, and now it's going to be Jeff McNeil. The, Mets, the second baseman, Jeff McNeil. And a pitch. Soft contact in the air. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. James McCann in now. Here comes a pitch. Fought off foul.
and the 0-1. And McCann fouls it off. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next pitch is outside. the ground right side sends it to first and that quickly two away here's Brandon Nimmo now this guy a player that if he gets on base has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths in there and it's on one trying to keep good speed off the bases two outs There's a strike. Line drive, and there's a hit. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's Starling Marte. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two gone. The possible go-ahead run at first. And that one ripped to left. Wait, makes the catch, and that'll do it. Mets leave one, and we are still scoreless. Bottom of the eighth, and digging in for San Francisco, Mike Yastrzemski. The wind of the pitch. And there's the strike. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Guy out there sees a power hitter take that kind of swing. He's got to be thinking, is this guy trying to set me up? Now let's see if he can make an adjustment. The punch out there. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Here's Kirk Casale. Bassett back to work. And that's in there at the knees. And it's one and one. On the ground. McNeil gloves it. McNeil gets it to first. And a couple of quick outs. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. And now it's Wilmer Flores. One for three. That's towards center. Nimmo makes the catch, and that'll do it. Giants are down one, two, three. Still no score. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Zach Littell. Number 46. Zach. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's Francisco Lindor. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And 
and here it comes. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one is off the plate, and it's two and one. Oh, that ball drilled back up the box and nailed the pitcher. Safe at first, and now after the play, we'll check on the right-hander status. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. The pitch. That misses, and it's one to know. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. Next one off the plate inside. And the count is 2-0. Action in the San Francisco bullpen. Harleen Garcia up and throwing. McGee warming up as well. And the right-hander deals. And a strike on the outside edge. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. That one in for a strike, two and two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. And now it's three and two. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Payoff pitch, and that's ball four. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. And stepping in for New York, Mark Cannon. Game tied, series tied. This could be a turning point in this series if he could deliver. Indeed. If he comes through with a hit here, it's going to change the entire approach that they can take against their opponent. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Next pitch is outside. And that is ball one. Lindor on second. Alonso at first with no outs. Next offering is in for a strike. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. He didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. Next offering misses. Two balls, two strikes. Right-handed reliever. And that one is lifted in the air. Yastrzemski makes the play, and there's one away. Two on, one out. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to it. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at-bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. And that one fouled off. The 0-1. That misses the zone, and it's a ball to strike. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. The next offering misses. Two and two. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Next pitch is outside. That's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Left-hand batter waits. Ground ball could be two. Quick feed to second for one. Double play. And that sends us to the bottom of the ninth. We are tied. Two, three, four, set to hit in the bottom of the ninth. And we still have no score. Back here in San Francisco at the play, Steven Duggar. Leading off for the Giants. Pitch. And a foul Duggar. ball.
the 0 1. And there's a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Good eye right there. Oh, this one's plastic. High and deep. It's on its way. Out of here. Ball game. Season, there's so much excitement, so much energy, everyone hanging on every single pitch. To have a walk-off win under these circumstances, these people have gone crazy. What a nice win, but you've got to turn the page quickly to come back for the next game. Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. So the New York Mets have come away with a critical win here to jump out to a 2-1 lead in the series. No, oh, indeed, Boog. This was gut check time. Tied 1-1 in a five-game series. Game three can make all the difference. And these guys showed they've got what it takes to survive the postseason pressure cooker for sure. Still far from over, though, with a massive Game 4 looming. Looking forward to it. Welcome, thanks for joining us. The show presents the National League Division Series. It's the New York Mets taking on the San Francisco Giants. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Shelby. And Singy, there's been a lot to talk about already in this series as we head into Game 4. And I'll be interested to see if these teams approach it any differently with one on the brink of elimination and the other just to win away from putting an end to this thing. You know, in the postseason, I think you have to treat every game the same, but there's something about an elimination game that can put a team just into a different mindset. Yeah, and the strategy can certainly change in this type of game. It's hard to manage the same way when in any given at bat, it can impact everything you've been working for throughout the season. First pitch coming your way next. All set for the start of the inning. Leading off, Jeff McNeil. Leading off with the net. The second base. Well, on paper, yeah. it's favorable to have a McNeil. fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side. Same side he throws from. Activity in the bullpen. Zach Littell up and loosening in the pen. McGee getting loose as well. Left-hand hitter waits. There's the strike. Next pitch is outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Next one misses three and one. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you. So you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. And there's ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I'll tell you what, he earned that walk. And the batter down, James McCann. 
the pitch. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Next offering is in for a strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stand on that double play. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. And the runner stays where he is. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. Next pitch misses. And a count is three and one. And the 3 1. Downstairs, and it misses ball four. Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And the pitch. That's in there. Strike one. The next pitch misses, and the count even one and one. Lots of anxious fans in the ballpark right now. You can feel it. Next offering is in for a strike. McNeil, the lead runner out at second. McCann on at first with nobody out. Next offering misses. It's two and two. A swing and a line drive at a right field. This looks like extra bases. Coming home. Not in time. He's safe. Clutch hitting right there to give him the lead this late in the ball game. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now here is Starling Marte for the fourth time tonight. And a pitch. That one's in there. And that's strike one. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. You'll want. Bounce to the left side. Base hit. One run is in. Runner stops at third, and they're at the corners with nobody out. Got the job done to put him up by two. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and you'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. Zach Lito gets handed the rock out of the pen, and he'll do his best to keep this close. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. And a pitch. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners if they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. Check on the runner, and he's back in there. And a 1 0. And that one off the outside edge. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. 2 0. And look out! That one almost got him. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. That one hit to right. Yastrzemski under it. He scores on the sack fly. It's 6-3. to three. They had a chance to add to their lead right there, and they did with the sack fly. Nice job of getting it done. Really good execution with that at bat. Now, here is Pete Alonso. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. The pitch. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Right-hander kicks deals. 
He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. Next offering way off the plate. Kicks and fires. Now just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. Righty delivers. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And two away now. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from the same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. So up next, Mark Canna. He's already homered in this game. And the right hater back to work. In for a strike, going one. Pitch misses inside, and now it's even one and one. Littell picks over, and he's back safely. Next offering is in for a strike. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Marte of the move. He swings and fouls one off. Righty to the plate. On the ground to the left. Fires over to first. And that is that. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Mets six and the Giants three. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Seth Lugo. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. And welcome back. Out of the bottom of the eighth. And digging in for San Francisco, Lamont Wade Jr. The Giants in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. Need a good at bat out of him right here. And first offering is fouled off. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Next offering is fouled back. And he deals. Stays alive. The next offering misses. Yeah, the count one and two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The wind of the pitch. Little chopper rolls foul. A wide to kick the pitch. That one off the mark. Two and two. Quite the matchup we're seeing here. Six foul balls in this at bat alone. Really making them work out there. This one in the air right field makes the catch and there's one down lefties can definitely be a little pull happy up there especially with pitches that they see pretty well that was a good example he hooked an outside pitch hit that ball in the air to right just not with much authority. Yastrzemski watches that one for a strike standing in here with one down. Next offering is foul back. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. One down, base is empty. 
Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. In time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. Now batting, catcher, Kirk. And now the catcher comes Kirk. up to him. Kirk Casali. A wind in the pitch. And it's fouled away. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one off the plate inside. Going to count one and two. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. That's his second strikeout. Giants go down quietly, and they're still doubled up. It's six to three. So here comes Jake McGee into the game. It's his job to keep his team in the game. We go to the ninth, and stepping in for New York, Eduardo Escobar. Here comes a pitch. And a strike in there. Filling up the strike zone hasn't been the problem so far. It's the quality of the strikes. That's been the real issue. And you look at the first inning, that's what we saw. Too many pitches out over the plate. And the lefty with the 0-1. Now 1-1. One one. In there. And so now one and two. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Next offering is downstairs. And the next pitch is way outside. And now the lefty, good plate appearance there, able to take the walk. Boo, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. The pitch. Smith takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. Now the 0-1. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. And here it comes. Swings and misses. One gone here. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something yeah. off, extend that at bat. McNeil. And now here's Jeff McNeil. And the pitch. Ball one there. Escobar stands at first with one out. Next pitch is outside. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. 2-0. That one finds the zone. 2-1 and one now. Left-hand batter waits. And that's outside. Strike two. The pitch. Runner takes off. In the air, left field. Makes the grab. Two down.
Man at first. Here's the catcher, James McCann. And the pitch. Breaking ball in there for a strike. fouled off and he'll two and now one and two in the air center field Duggar makes the catch, and that'll do it. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order, do up. It's the Mets six and the Giants three. So they turn to Edwin Diaz out of the pen, and this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the bottom of the ninth. Down the third baseman, Wilmer Flores. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Can't get there. Base hit. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Duggar in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Foul ball. And a swing and a miss. Lined, and that's a base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Back-to-back -back singles. Now, pretty much a model oh, swing on that one as he ripped right, it right. into the opposite field gap. And no. I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to pop. So many positives that led to that knock. Now a huge at-bat in this game coming up. First and second. No outs. Brandon Bell getting ready to hit. And a foul ball. I wonder how much of a distraction those fans behind home plate are to the opposing pitcher. I mean, they're into it. They're trying to will this club back into this ball game. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. First and second here, no outs. Next offering is foul back. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Oh, there he gets the slider in on his hands, and it just eats now him off. You know, it's hard to get the bat around on a pitch like that in tight. You just feel like you're crowded on the inside part of the plate. Can't get any extension. That's what he definitely should have laid off of. Now Jack Peterson and a pitch. And that's down and away. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. Swing and a miss, and it's two and one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Next offering is fouled back. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. Swing and a miss struck him out, and the Giants down to their final out. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Crawford in the box now takes a cold strike. 
Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Flores over at second. Duggar at first. Two out of the inning. Next offering upstairs. Next one misses. Ball three. Wings and this one's flare. And that'll do it. So the New York Mets stay alive with a clutch win here in game four. They had one chance to save their season, Boog, and they made the most of it. These guys can handle the pressure of October. We've learned that much about them so far. And it'll come down to a decisive game five. This postseason already providing plenty of memorable moments.